Earlier this year, the American Kennel Club allowed a new breed of dog into its ranks. The Bure, trounced beaver, terrier became the 197th breed recognized by the organization. It's a mere pup of a breed, especially when compared to the oldest breeds of dogs, some of which have existed for thousands of years, or so we're told. Now we know what the newest breed of dog is, let's find out which are the oldest. For a long time, researchers believed the Basenji was the oldest breed, pointing out some Libyan cave paintings that depict the hunting dog and date back to approximately 6000 BC. Last year, however, a new genetic study conducted by an international team of researchers indicated that the Greenland sled dogs were around long before the Basenji took its first breath. By studying the 9,500-year-old remains of a dog found on the remote island of Jokov off the coast of Siberia, researchers thought they would find a primitive dog but instead, the Greenland sled dog was already a long way down the path to domestication. So, how does this affect our concept of the oldest dog breeds, and which breed has the Jokov dog knocked off its ancient pedestal? Believed to have been around since around 700 AD. This ancient breed has never regained the popularity it had in its early years, although they are still much beloved companions and alert watchdogs. Requiring little exercise and even less food, the Pekingese is an easy dog to care for. Even its long, flowing locks require less grooming than other long-haired breeds, like the Afghan, for instance. The Tibetan Terrier is a medium-sized dog with a shaggy coat that spent over 2,000 years evolving in the remote Himalayan mountains. Known as the Holy Dog of Tibet, the Tibetan Terrier has been serving Tibetan monks for centuries, acting as a companion, watchdog, and good luck charm. It's even said that, when forced to flee Tibet, the Dalai Lama took his beloved Tibetan Terrier, Senge, with him. Although we tend to think of the Poodle as a French dog, some believe it originated in Germany as early as the 15th century. Images of the Poodle from that era bear little resemblance to the standard Poodle we know today looking considerably more lion-like than today's breed. This breed comes in a wide variety of colors, with some, such as the party poodle or phantom poodle, being highly sought after. Wherever the breed began its existence, it started as a water and hunting dog, specifically to retrieve waterfowl. These early poodles were clipped for practical reasons, and the long hair around the chest provided insulation for the dog's vitals in freezing water, while, the shorn hindquarters reduced drag whilst swimming. The distinctive Chow Chow originated in China where they were used as retrievers, pointers, and sled dogs. Depictions of the breed have been found on sculptures and Chinese pottery dating back to the Hun Dynasty, 206 BC until 22 AD. Although the true origin of the breed is unknown, it's believed they were bred as guard dogs, and as a gastronomic delicacy. Some even say that the name Chow Chow is derived from the Chinese word Cho meaning edible. The Chow Chow is famous for its distinctive blue or black tongue a characteristic it shares with only one other breed, the Sharpe. Quite where it came from, however, no one seems to know, although folk tales suggest that Chow Chows were allowed to lick up all the little pieces of blue sky that fell on the earth when the stars were set in their places, when the world was being created. Thousands of years ago, the forebears of the Alaskan Malamute crossed from Siberia into Alaska, where it developed into a breed similar to the one we know today. Used to pull sleds, hunt seals, and defend against polar bears, the Alaskan Malamute was highly valued. Its name is derived from the name of the Inuit people, the Malamute, who inhabited the northwestern region of Alaska known as Kotzebue Sound. Fortunately, the Alaskan Malamute proved more capable of surviving the cold weather and harsh winters of Alaska, a characteristic that ensured its continued survival. A powerful and athletic breed, the Malamute is known for its endurance and ability as a working dog, but they also make great pets. Playful and occasionally mischievous, the Alaskan Malamute is a wonderful family companion for experienced dog owners. Curious, loyal, and yet independent, the Saluki is an athletic dog that excels in competition, showing an aptitude for activities such as agility, lure coursing, and jumping. Despite their hunting origins and high prey drive, Salukis make dignified and gentle family pets as long as they get plenty of exercise and mental stimulation. The Saluki currently holds the Guinness World Record for being the oldest breed of dog in the world. Although new research may have undermined that claim, its ancient origins are undeniable. Archaeologists uncovered a golden pendant depicting a Saluki that dated back to 3300 BCE while the remains of mummified Salukis have been discovered in ancient tombs in the Upper Nile region. Mastiffs of all types, 
such as the Korean Mastiff, have been around for thousands of years but the Tibetan is believed to be the oldest. A phylogenetic analysis performed in 2008 lead researchers to conclude that the approximate divergence time between Tibetan Mastiff and the Grey Wolf was 58,000 years before the present, YBP, and the approximate divergence time between other domestic dogs and the Grey Wolf was 42,000 YBP. The Mastiff is one of the oldest dogs, and it's believed to have descended from the war dogs of ancient Rome, although there is little genetic evidence to support this theory. Nevertheless, they do share a certain likeness with the legendary Molossus which Aristotle described as being both larger than other dogs and more fierce in their attack on wild beasts. Like the Greyhound, the Basenji is believed to be related to the dogs of ancient Egypt, although others claim it originated in Africa. Having been isolated in remote regions, the Basenji has maintained many of the unusual traits of its ancient predecessors and displays more cat-like behavior than most dog breeds. Not only does the Basenji lack that distinctive doggy smell, but it also yodels rather than barks and is as fastidious about its appearance and cleanliness as a cat. It's believed that the Basenjis were once prized as versatile hunters with keen eyesight, explosive speed, and a highly developed sense of smell. Closely related to the sighthounds depicted in the temple drawings from 6000 BC discovered in present-day Turkey, the Greyhound is one of the oldest dog breeds in the world. While some are convinced the dog depicted on graves, inscriptions, and tomb paintings was, in fact, a Greyhound, others believe it has more in common with a Basenji or Saluki. There's no doubt that the Greyhound descended from these ancient Egyptian predecessors, taking on the role of hunter, as well as companion and guard dog. Greyhounds also make great running partners, as long as you don't try to keep up with them, and, with their speed and dexterity excel at both agility and obedience. While many believe that the Afghan Hound originated in the deserts of Egypt, its name suggests otherwise, and a more realistic theory is that they were bred by the nomadic people of Afghanistan and its neighboring regions. As fast and powerful as any other breed of sighthound, the Afghan was originally used to hunt game, including antelopes and, according to some, leopards. Eyewitnesses say the Afghan would grab its dangerous prey by the neck, severing the leopard's spines in their jaws. Afghan hounds caught the eye of British soldiers who took them back to the UK with them, exhibiting them at dog shows under various names, including Persian greyhounds and Baruchzi hounds. Closely related to the Saluki, Afghans have an independent streak that harks back to their hunting origins and can be stubborn and aloof. These traits make them difficult to train, especially as they have an exceptionally high prey drive. Although not recognized as a breed by the AKC, the Greenland sled dog has a similar appearance to the Husky and Alaskan Malamute. Genetically speaking, however, it's very different, having adapted to eating a very high-fat diet, running and pulling sleds in a low-oxygen environment, and the ability to highly regulate their body temperatures. In this sense, they are more closely related to the dog discovered in Jokov and, unlike other dog breeds, show no signs of interbreeding with a gray wolf in the past 9,500 years. According to researchers, the fact that Greenland sled dogs lack the genetic adaptations other breeds have made to cope with diets heavy in sugar and starch emphasizes that sled dogs and Arctic people have worked and adapted together for more than 9,500 years. Despite the new research on the Greenland sled dog, the Akita, a type of husky, manages to hold on to its top spot as the oldest breed of dog in the world. Canine remains found at the Kamekuroiwa rock shelter site in Ahime are believed to date back to the Joman period which is traditionally dated between 14,000 to 300 BC. Although the breed of dog is unclear, the damage to the teeth lead researchers to conclude that these dogs were used for hunting large game mammals. Although these dogs were smaller than the modern-day Akita Inu, or Japanese Akita, there's no denying the breed's rich history and lineage. After originating in the mountains of Japan, the Akita became domesticated and was trained to hunt large game, like wild boar and elks. Later, they served as loyal companions to the samurai. Do you have a new puppy in your house? Does your cute little friend need an outlet for their energy? Is it time to train your puppy to behave properly?